feel like this video is all over the place, but that's kind of how my feelings are about it. Like, you have this miscarriage, it's traumatic and painful, and then you get pregnant again, and you just don't, you desperately do not want that to happen again because you know how painful it was the first time. Hey guys, my name is Shayla. Welcome to my channel. If this is your first time here, we talk about motherhood, we talk about pregnancy. I've got a 20 month old and I am 25 weeks pregnant uh, with our second baby. <sighs> Getting winded already. We do things pretty naturally, cleft diapering, elimination communication, Montessori. If you're into that, please subscribe. There's tons of videos with tons of information with all the things. I'm also on Instagram stories a ton and I just started a podcast this year, last year, where I get to interview my gurus and ask them all the questions. It's just really fun. Today we are talking about pregnancy after loss, which is kind of a heavy subject, but I wanted to talk about it because I think it's really important to talk about because first of all, loss or miscarriage or stillborn or anything can be pretty isolating, pretty traumatic, pretty unexpected. I made a video talking about my miscarriages specifically for somebody who is going through or has gone through a miscarriage just to say however you're feeling is valid. It varies and all the things that you can feel are valid. So I'll briefly tell you about my miscarriage. Miscarriages. We had a miscarriage before my daughter was born, two miscarriages before my daughter was born. So in the fall we had one at 13 weeks. In the winter we had one at six weeks because we were like, we're gonna try and then we're like, oh, let's take a break. So we took a break and weren't trying and we're actually tracking to not get pregnant and got pregnant the following summer. When we found out at 13 weeks that we had had the miscarriage, we went into my midwife and I was 11 weeks at the time. She looked for a heartbeat and couldn't find a heartbeat and I was like, ah, that's fine, no big deal. So they immediately sent us over to get an ultrasound and when we went to go to the ultrasound, the tech can't tell you anything. So she's like sitting there looking for something and you're trying to read her to try and figure out what's going on. And I don't know if I was in shock or, or if I was just in denial because I really didn't know what to expect even at an ultrasound. So I was like, everything's fine, no big deal. So she didn't say anything and then the doctor came in and he's like, so it's called a blighted ovum. Basically, your body still thinks you're pregnant but there's no baby inside your uterus. Very bizarre. So then two weeks later, I actually miscarried and it was just, I've never, I don't know, it was a very interesting experience. I didn't know many people who had miscarried, so I felt like I didn't have a lot of people to talk to. That was the first time that I ever felt like truly depressed, because I'm normally a happy-go-lucky, everything's fine, no big deal, blah, 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 like, and I was, there was just no happiness. I couldn't, I couldn't even fake it. Oh, this is what depression feels like and I wish that I had gotten help. This video is actually sponsored by BetterHelp, Better H-E-L-P, which is an online therapy, and I was like, perfect. I would love to put this in this video for anybody who's going through something like this and is looking for help but doesn't know how to find it. And something that I like about them is that you go on the app, you enter in all your information, and you can specifically say, I wanna to talk to a postpartum or pregnancy therapist. And I talked to somebody who goes to one, and I was like, do you think that's better than a regular therapist? And she's like, yeah, they can say, yes, this is normal. This is what you might expect. There's video conversations that you can have. There's also like texting or live chats that you can do with them. I have a therapist, so I haven't used this personally yet, but I think I might do it for that specific postpartum. When we did our 2020 goals, Mental health was on our list. I think working on yourself is the best way to bring a new life into the world. This is a great way to just get in, get something specialized, try someone out. If you don't like them, try someone else out. BetterHelp, H-E-L-P dot com. Please do not hesitate to get it because it's a really tough time. Um, something that someone said to me that helped a ton was everyone who has ever experienced a miscarriage is carrying you and supporting you through this. You don't understand it until you go through it. Because then once you do get pregnant, A, I felt weird feelings when I was pregnant and then I felt bad about that because I know that I should be excited and it's this blessing, which it is, but you're just so concerned. When I saw the two lines on the stick, and this is gonna be different if you were trying or if you weren't trying, I felt worried. Didn't wanna go through the feelings that I had already felt Again, I was just like, so even when I told uh, Seth, I was just not, like people are like, oh my gosh, I'm pregnant, I was just like, mm-hmm. Okay. 
Yeah, I'm so nervous. <laughs> And I actually had to edit a lot of that out of the video where I announced it because I had enough that I had had miscarriages prior. And then I remember going into a doctor's appointment and it was a very early one. And she was just like, okay, I did some intake stuff and she never checked for a heartbeat. So I went out into the office and I was like, hi, um, can I, um, I was just in my appointment, but they never checked for a heartbeat. And I was really thinking that they would be checking for a heartbeat because that's how we found out that I had a miscarriage the first time. I think she could tell that I was like emotionally distraught and she was like, yeah, let me see if I can get you back in there. And I was like panicking. Like I was in the waiting room, just like, what if they can't get me back in? I just want to hear the heartbeat. I'd be blah, 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 blah. And they were able to get me back in. There was a heartbeat, but like that... <laughs> Every time, even in the second pregnancy that I'm in now, when they're looking for a heartbeat, you just, your stomach drops a little bit and you're like, I really hope that they find one. And then in your first trimester, you're feeling nauseous and you're feeling horrible, but you're also kind of feeling grateful because you know that your pregnancy is progressing. Then there's like this window where you, you're out of your first trimester so you feel better, but you're not feeling kicking. So there's no signs that you're pregnant other than your hormones are going absolutely insane. You're waiting for milestones. You're like, okay, this was when I miscarried. So if I can just make it to that many weeks, I feel better about it already. Okay, get out of the first trimester. I know that at this many weeks, the percentage goes down. You're Googling like, how viable is a pregnancy at 16 weeks. How likely is a mixed carriage at 18 weeks? How did it? And you're watching the percentages go down, hoping that you can just make it to, to make it to, to a healthy baby. For me at a certain point, probably once I started feeling kicking, I really felt more secure that this baby was going to be okay. Kind of once after your uh, 20 week ultrasound, I think, because then they do like a deep check and just make sure that everything's looking normal. I think that's kind of when I was able to take a deep breath and be like, okay, we're good. Hopefully, obviously things can still happen, but that was kind of where my stress alleviated a little bit. You really just have to, you have to think positive thoughts and you have to send healthy, growing vibes to your baby, even if only for your own mental health and peace. There's a lot of things working against you. You've got your hormones that are ramping up and you've got the, the reminders of going into the doctor's office like you did the first time and you have, there's just a lot. So I hope this video was helpful for you to validate it is hard being pregnant after you have a miscarriage. You are worried a lot of the time about how things are going to go. And it was just so stressful for me. And I started meditating just to calm myself down because I'm, I'm like, my body is so stressed out that I don't feel like this is a good environment for our baby to be growing in. And, I, and then that stressed me out more. And everyone's just like, oh, think positive. And you're thinking, I need to think positively. This has to work. This will be okay. And you just get so worked up and you're hormonal, so it's even worse. And I just remember calling my mom crying and I was just like, I just am so worried and, and she's like, Shay, you just have to send positive, healthy vibes to the baby. <sighs> miscarriages are being more talked about. Like people are talking about having miscarriages, sharing their infertility journeys and sharing that these things are actually happening. And not only does that allow you to kind of like have a place to share it, but it allows other people to connect with you and be like, yes, I know exactly how you're feeling because it is such an isolating feeling. Well, in the first trimester too, you're not even announcing that you're pregnant. So sometimes you have to be like, hey, friend, I was pregnant. Now I'm not, but I need you. So I need to tell you that I was pregnant, but now I'm not in order to get the support. And it's just a confusing, challenging. Oh, it's so hard just have to try and find the help that you can either with the better help online therapy, meditation, talking to your spouses, doing what working out, doing whatever you need to do to try and keep your thoughts positive and to try and keep the stress at bay a bit. I'm sending you so much love. Congratulations on your pregnancy or hopeful pregnancy soon. 
and I'll see you guys all next time. Bye.